Greetings from the far-off land of Inaba. I'm Sai, bringing you another episode of Persona 4 Golden. The following is not a complete run, therefore some element story elements will be missed or sped through. For a full run, refer to the description box or the annotation below. Okay, so let's get going with 6 7. Alright, nothing to do, need more expression. I'll leave those for later. I can go out and work. I guess I will. Or try and up another stat somewhere else. Maybe later. Actually, no. Mm, not right now. I'll come back. Let's go into here. Whoa. Now, going into here actually would require some courage. So, just keep that in mind. You want to actually talk to this lady in white. Uh, no I don't, unfortunately. I need more bugs. But unfortunately, the kid lost his bug net. Oh well. Let's go to Aya. Courage increase. After finishing your meal, you went home. It became the eighth where it's raining. Oh yeah, new questions all over the place. Give her the answer you think is correct. Yukiko appreciates you! Yay! Expression increase. It is now after school. Oh hey Yosuke, what's up? Hey, guess what I just heard? What? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! Is Yosuke being an idiot again? Should I just play along? What are you talking about? Come on, you know what I mean? Still no. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is... Talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! And? Motorcycle? Man, you're a lot thicker than I thought. Nah, I'm just playing with you. Anyway, I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? I guess. So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? I see no harm in that. It's a manual for getting a motorcycle license. Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget. But at least that'll let us get to new places. That is true. Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? But if we start taking them into battle, I'm going to have to punch you in the face. Yosuke seems serious about this. What's up, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? Slightly. 
Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yosuke, you should go on ahead. If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Nope. Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Because he wanted to make fun of you. Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, the bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. It's his plan, not mine. Up-close-and-personal? What does that mean? Keep it down! Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first, a motorcycle. And then... And then... A girlfriend. I already have one of those. Oh, not quite, but it's getting there. So, you're over her then? Why'd you bring that up? Because you're bringing that up. Well, I mean, I gotta get over her sometime. It's like Senpai was... Wait, no, this isn't supposed to be a serious conversation. Back to the subject! No way! Don't worry about me. What you ought to be worried about is smooshes. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. Out. I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Right. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. Uh, that's only you so far. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up-close-and-personal plan really starts. Can you stop being an idiot now? Up-close-and-personal? Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. I guess that's true. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. we got to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. I don't think that will happen. What, fe feral zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. And where did you get this research? Pheromones? Uh... Dude, that's how a perv would react. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? I'll tell everyone. If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Okay, whatever. Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. I'm serious about this. Yes, you are. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! It's true. It's true that with a motorcycle, your range of activities will increase somewhat. Yeah, sure, why not? Somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. Right. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Should you try to consult Tojima about a mo the motorcycle tonight? Yeah. Can't speak all of a sudden. Classes have ended for the day.
Will someone else appear on the Midnight Channel when it rains again? You have no choice but to wait and see. Yeah, she's like, there's a ghost over the shrine. You got it. Technically, already all did all this, but yeah. I have no way of doing anything with that right now. Anyway, into town. I need to waste time. Where would be a nice time to waste time? Oh, hi. I can help you out. Accepted quest 25. 100% in about grown cabbage. Da, 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 da. Central shopping district. That kid's not going to be there, but. I already did that. <laughs> Let's skip all this dialogue since we read it in previous playthroughs. Playthrough. You tried your best. Understanding, knowledge, and courage increased. No, oh, I was that far from getting that. <clears throat> I'll remember that for next time. Sup, ah, Tojima. You're back. Hi there. Sabadachi. You want some eel too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Uh, eel doesn't really agree with me. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. Shut up, Adachi. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't be stupid. He is. But Eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. <laughs> what are you, Teddy? Did my joke slip away? It is an eel after all. Just eat your dinner. E yes, sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. This is hilarious. You need to consult Dojima about getting a motorcycle license. What's the matter? Uh, could I get a motorcycle license? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Uh, I don't know, though. Oh, come on, D Dojima. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he wants one out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, but it's not that bad. <laughs> There's no need to deny it. It's normal to feel that way. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. It's me. Hmm. All right, we'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Again with that? Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. 
Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. He's getting to be very eely annoying. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it. I did decide on it on myself. Ahem. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? Totally. I want you to trust me, though. It's not that I doubt you, but allowing you to get one is something else. Dojima seems troubled. <laughs> Don't give me that face. I, I know you're serious about this. I am. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Okay. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. Sounds fair. At least Adachi left the rest of his dinner behind. Although, the eel could be annoying. It's from Yosuke. Yo, it's me. Sup? How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. We need to get a license as quickly. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can! I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Right. This game re must really want a motorcycle license. You promised to go to the exam site with him tomorrow. You wonder about the suspicious guy Adachi mentioned, but there's no way to find out about more about it right now. You should reveal... Review the manual Yosuke gave you and study for the license exam. Who is this suspicious guy anyway? Oh well. Yo. Yosuke seems sleepy. Haha. <laughs> It'll be a breeze. No, I've forgotten about that. You should get going. Oh, I'd rather read that. Habit. You take the license exam with Yosuke. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. You succeeded in passing the exam. Obtain the scooter license. <laughs> we passed on the first try. Just like we planned. Yes. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Oh, hey, it's Dachi. I mean, Dojima. Ahem. Hi. Are you on duty? That's also a habit, apparently. Ahem. We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Places. Uh, to go get our licenses. Already? Yeah. Check it out. I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. What, you doubting me? Oh well. Looks like I'd better think of a way to convince my sister. Thank you. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. <laughs> your enthusiasm is catching. Yes, it is. Yes, you got the okay. I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. I wonder who that scooter belongs to outside the house. But anyway, see you, Yosuke. Rants off. Runs Mind off. if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Sure. Hey, Adachi. Technically, I was not wrong. I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. 
I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. You mean that was the scooter outside the house? I'm letting you have it. Nice! This is a nice bike. You can tell? The local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Twist grips? Oh, never mind. I know what you're talking about. Uh, don't tell anyone that, okay? I won't. Dojima's passion for the scooter is obvious. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets, too, so a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. And he runs off. Well, anyway, I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. Uh, I kind of did that myself, didn't I? My dad caught me riding a scooter later on. He gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? I won't. Tojima is chuckling mischievously. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You got it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Yeah. Good. I'll hold you to that. And the rest of after school is available to us. Receive Dojima's scooter. As you ride around and get a feel for the local roads, you'll be able to go to more places. It's a scooter you got from Dojima. What will you do? Ride around the neighborhood. Sure, why not? After getting completely lost, you reach the station. You feel like you're, but you feel as if you're starting to get a feel for the place. You need to ride around a little more to get better acquainted with the area. Courage increase. I'm just gonna skip ahead. Uh, you, basically, you need to ride the scooter three you times. And where would that be? It would be this one. Go into town, go back to the Joe Dima residence, have the thing fall off the, the stand. Oh well. Try and fix it again. You were able to make it to Okina Station City, eh. Technically you only get to go around the station, so now you have the now you have the feel for the local area. You can now travel to Okina City. Eh. I keep calling it the station. But anyway, you want to talk to this guy first. Sure. Shove the bunch of uh, pocket tissue packets into your arms. Okay. Accepted quest 19. Tissue distribution agent. Okay, so talk to these guys. Let's check here. I'm not going to hand him to the police officer. Uh, 
Let's go the opposite way. Could also go into Croco Fur. Talk to this guy as well. I don't know what that actually does. You can drink coffee by going to the cafe. Time will pass when you enter, but you might gain something by drinking the coffee. If you have time to spare, try it. I guess I have to. Okay. You report back to him, saying you've finished handing out the tissues. Yep. 5,000 yen. Completed quest 19. Yeah, why not? Hey, this looks familiar. Come on. The crane grabbed nothing but air. Ah, whatever. Invite a friend to the movies. I'll invite you to go. Yeah. Yeah! Well, see ya. Thanks for waiting. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, let's go. You and Yukiko take in a movie together. I, that buzzing actually scared the hell out of me for the first time. You were very encouraged by the movie's earnest main characters. Why did I not get anything from that? You enjoyed watching the movie with Yukiko. Something inside of Yukiko changed in response to the movie. Level up! Various bonus were granted by watching the movie. Hmm. Yeah. That too. Sure, why not? You decided to go home. It is now the evening. You're back. Yeah. It's a nice trip to Okina. So, this ends this one. I'm gonna probably have the next one very soon. So tune in again for more Persona 4 Golden. That just sounded weird for some reason. Oh well.